We got a hangry baby over here and mama is acting like a worry wart. I'll tell you all about it in your week 38 update. I mentioned a while back that Faith started crawling really overnight. She showed very little signs of being ready to crawl or like the stages of crawling. She just one day got up and went for it. Um, but ever since she has been crawling, she's done kind of this hybrid approach where it's like half crawl, half scoot. And it's super cute. I always thought it was so precious. I'm like, oh, she kind of looks like a little froggy. And Michael and I would just, you know, talk about how sweet her little crawl was. And family members talked about it. And it was this whole thing. And until one day, my mom said uh, just recently, like, you know, is that normal? Did you ever like talk to her doctor about that? And I thought, is it normal? You know, I never even thought about that. So of course, I'm on my phone Googling, you know, Dr. Google. Turns out it's called asymmetrical crawling. And sometimes it's perfectly normal. Other times it can mean deeper issues are going on. It has been linked to autism. So of course, that got me worried, you know, and then I started, you know, Googling early signs of autism and what do you do? Is there anything you can help to support these babies? And well, it turns out after doing all the research and talking to my pediatrician and blah, 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 it's like no one's really concerned at this point. She's doing great and all the other milestones, everything like that. And, um, and it's fine. So this week, what I did with her is like, we now in her, are in a place where there's like a nice plush kind of rug. So I've been practicing with her because I think that's part of why she developed this is because we have been on stone floors and hardwood floors, which is not really the most comfortable place to crawl. My other kids had nice carpet or rugs and stuff like that. So now that we have a place where we have a rug, I've been just what I've been doing when she goes crawling, I'll just tuck her little leg in and sure enough, she'll just crawl normally and then she'll revert back to her little crawl scoot and then I'll flip it back under. So I've been kind of doing a little training. Um, of course, like I could always go to a physical therapist. And in fact, if you are seeing your child not meeting certain milestones um, or having balance issues or anything like that, or even with asymmetrical crawling, that is a route you can take. But we've been practicing a lot of crawling this week and this girl has been moving it and she's been burning the calories. And as a result, she is hungry. Um, she is hangry actually, cause she's really cranky this week too. Um, and so I'm nursing, 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 but she needs solids okay so I've been definitely doing the baby led weaning but I have to be honest at the beginning what I'm doing is a lot of spoon feeding just to get calories in her whole yogurt um, butternut squash parades any kind of like soups broths things like that and she's just sucking it down then after a while she gets bored so then I start giving her little pieces and that's where she can play with the baby led weaning um, so blueberries raspberries um, little peas carrots you know little soft carrots pears, I mean, all sorts of stuff. And I have to be really diligent about it because if I don't give her like three square meals a day, she is cranky um, and she's just not having it. So um, really been doing that. And let me just give you a little pro tip. If you find your baby getting bored, get a little toy or even the lid to like, you know, a yogurt container and they'll just play with that as you're feeding. You can kind of just like put some food into their gullet. Um, and again, I'm a huge advocate for baby led weaning, but I also like to balance it because sometimes the baby needs to get some nutrition in in a way that's like more abundant because what I find with baby led weaning, I would say right now, if she has 10 little pieces of food that she's self feeding, four of them will actually end up in her mouth and the rest will be on the floor or in her bib or on her high chair. It's kind of like the idea of food for fun, um, but I also feel like she needs some added nutrition with some of these solids. So that's what we've been doing. And look who just woke up, baby Faith, yes. And guess what, she's hungry, so I'm gonna go nurse her now. But I hope you and baby are doing wonderful, and we'll catch you next time for week 39. Hi, I'm Genevieve Howland, AKA Mama Natural, and this is my third baby, Faith. Together, we'll be taking you through baby's first year. So be sure to sign up for your free updates at mamanatural.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks so much and we'll catch you next week.